Just 22 miles. That's all it is. The sunlight bounces off the cliffs, and because they're taller, they look closer from France. I listen to the waves lapping over breakfast. I have a croissant and a coffee, but I feel sick. I'm sure if you've traversed through continents and oceans, you're going to look across and think, I could swim that. The seagulls float around gracefully in ravenous packs, and my head's a fucking shed from all the parallels and chasms. David Williams, 10 hours 34, sport relief. Eurostar, 1 hour, 29 quid. P&O ferries, 90 minutes, 40 quid. Channel tunnel, 35 minutes, 49 quid. A smuggler's dinghy, through the dead of night, up to 13 and a half thousand. Yesterday afternoon, I was sat playing cards with Ethiopians and Eritreans. The breeze picked up, so they invited me inside, into the hall. And no word of a lie, right? No word of a lie, there was a Bradford City sleeping bag. Now, for those of you doing an internal shrug, there are 22 miles between their stadium and my home. It's the same between Leeds and York, between Newcastle and Hartlepool, Manchester and Blackburn, Birmingham and Leamington Spa, Northampton and Milton Keynes, Bristol and Newport, Oxford and Reading, Portsmouth and Bognor Regis, Romford and Southend, Calais and Dover. They ask me with wide eyes if Bradford are a decent team. I haven't got the heart to tell the truth. <laughs> I want to ask them all how they got here, how long it took and how they managed. But that kind of thing is either volunteered or locked away. They offer me a cigarette and I smoke it just to socialise. I give them some euros to buy some beers and I'm Father Christmas. For the people who've walked across deserts, whose drivers were shot in the chest, whose dinghies were sinking and floated ashore, whose bodies were subjected to unspeakable acts. They burp with the beer and cheer with the cards, for a while it feels normal. The universal language of betting and banter, brotherhood forged in the belly of the beast, flags and our playful affiliation. The lad sat beside me, taps me on my knee, so I lean in and lend him my ear. He asks me, very gently, if I can justify why my country is leaving them here. His question somehow silences the room. Playing cards stripped suddenly of worth. He's not asking me as a journalist or a lawyer. Just a fellow human being on this earth. I feel sick again with shards of sunlight piercing through the roof. They ask me if they're likely to be welcomed in by law. And I haven't got the heart to tell the truth. Yeah.